Hi guys, I'm here and I'm back for another video and this is gonna be my unboxing of the not the Kawang Melody but this is just a backing um the Gingham Check music cards. So it's the same contents as the Kawang Melody music cards, just different designs this time around just because I don't know. I think Halo Halo Entertainment finally discovered the collectability of ID card or credit card sized um collectibles. So I already know what are the cards in this set that I got and I'm just gonna show them to you. I actually opened one already just because I wanted to check if there was a handshake code. So, so the first one that I got was Bray. So the backing is kind of has like a weird yellowish tint. That's okay. Like if you will compare it to the original one. So this is the one from the Ikao Melody set. They're more yellowish this time around. So this is what the Bray music card looks like. Yeah, I got the two stamps for buying the gold ticket. So yeah, I mean they look cute. I wish the colors were more saturated, but yeah. Then um, just like the other. Um, music cards or like the previous ones um, You get a QR code just to like, you know, get to the website and you get a download code and a handshake code so, so I think there's gonna be a day three of the comedy handshake event So yeah we got Bray Should I remove these from I guess I should remove these oh like the, at least the ones that are doubles so next one that I got is Alyssa. So I'm really glad that I got Alyssa just because as I said in, if you've watched the photo card unboxing, I am collecting Alyssa for this set. This is what Alyssa's card looks like. The next one, I got Mari, my first Team L one. So yeah, so a different thing that they have this time around is that they, um, you call that. Um, put the sticker, which I kind of think is unnecessary, but you know, oh well, whatever floats their boat. This is what Marius looks like. Um, another difference from the Icao Melody music cards, they don't have that hole at the top, so it's not a bag tag anymore. But if you want, I guess you can find a way to do it. Next one, we got ends. A lot of people seem to be um, falling for M's for this um, promotions. I guess at least from the M2 concert. She's one of the best singers in the group. And also, I think generally just like the exposure that she's getting is like signaling like a sudden surge in popularity. So yeah, the the colors are inconsistent for these and I'm gonna show them a little bit later. Number three, I got Lara. Like I guess you can tell some cards are darker, some cards are lighter. Like the background is generally the same. Just the printing. One, two, three. I got ten. So I'm I'm collecting the complete set for this time. Just cause you know the handshake tickets and all. So it's a good way to like you know, buy multiple copies of the single without like you know getting the same thing over and over again so what things looks like 
So yeah, so 6 out of the 16 so far. 1, 2, 3. I got Miho. Next is, I got Dian. Dian is one of the popular members in this lineup. I think after Queen, her cards are the most expensive. So I'm really glad that I got hers. So I don't have to like trade anymore. I honestly think that these are kind of unnecessary, but it can be smaller. But the end, there. This one is Bell. The next one is one, two, three. I got Colleen. So I got the Sunday girl. I didn't get the top three just because um, if from from what I've read, Seth and K don't have music cards yet, which I learned later after buying sixteen cards. So yeah, I should have just hold on to like the two cards, like in the hopes of like getting their cards. But oh well. But Colleen, I'm just gonna put her here. My next one is oh, I got another thing. The okay, double. I'm not gonna remove that just because I can trade it or sell it. Then M's. These are just my doubles. Got another bell. Another bell. Another Colleen. And another Colleen. So these are all the ones that I have, that I have up for trade. So if anyone with like an unused uh, music card wants to trade, I have um, two Colleens, two Bells, an M's, and a 10. So yeah, so I have 10 cards. So I am looking for the trades for these. For um, Seth and K when they finally get their uh, music cards, then I'm also missing Amy, um, Joyce, Isa, then Ruth. Yeah. So I'm really hoping to get those cards in the future. I'm hoping that I won't have to like buy them, just because I have um, cards for trade and I do have some like popular members that I can um, trade for the other ones. So hoping that I can trade them. So yeah, the different, like the printing is kind of different. Just cause, let me get some stuff. Okay, I guess the colors are different. I don't know if it's like the same. Like for example, in Alyssa's, the Ikawa melody is more light purple. Then it gets darker for Lara's and it gets like literally blue for um, Colleen's if I can check yeah I think yep so I guess it's different based on the member just because it's not a printing error it's depending on the member but it's not depending on like the printing batch just because um, you can see the Gingham Tech logo gets lighter as it goes down. So yeah, so that's just that. But I'm happy with these. I'm hoping that they edited it better so you can see that they are in front of a green screen. But yeah, oh well. Um, yeah, um, that is it for the Gingham Check uh, music cards. Really sad that they released this without um, Cess and K for the meantime. But hoping we'll finally 
princess is because um, she was a hot topic yesterday because she wasn't in the Team M2 concert and they didn't acknowledge that she wasn't there. So yeah, no announcements, um, no messages. So yeah, hoping that they finally get some answers for this and yeah. So thank you for watching. If you have some of these for trade, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.